Today's lesson is over rational and irrational numbers, and the goal is to be able to determine if a number is rational or irrational. So rational numbers, they are numbers that can be written as a fraction in the form a over b, where a and b are integers and b is not zero. So another way of saying it is any fraction you have ever seen is rational. No decimals, no fractions as fractions. So it's a number that either terminates, which means ends, or repeats. So these are all types of rational numbers. So negative 14, the number ends right here after the 4. It ends right there. We've got 3 repeating. Okay, that's a repeating decimal. So we've got the cube root of 729, which we know is 9. Okay, oops, excuse me there. Those are all rational numbers. Now, irrational numbers. These are numbers that cannot be written as the quotient of two integers. It's numbers that aren't fractions. Okay, we cannot write these as fractions. In other words, it's the opposite of rational. The number does not terminate or does not repeat. So, the square root of n is irrational if n is not a perfect square. Think back to our lessons over roots, cube roots, square roots. All those numbers I gave you were perfect squares. The ones we had to estimate. Those are going to be irrational because they're not perfect squares. <coughs> Excuse me. So examples here. Okay, square root of 15. Now we know that is going to be somewhere between square root of 9 and square root of 16. Right, so it's going to be somewhere between 3 and 4, probably closer to 4. But it will be a decimal that just goes on and on and on. We know pi is irrational. You know, it's 3.1419, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sure many of you know more numbers than that. But you know it goes on forever. Then that square root of 122, oh, we know it's going to fall between radical 121 and radical 144. So it's between 11 and 12, right closer to 11, but a never-ending decimal. So that is all we need to know for rational and irrational. Know the definitions, know how to identify them. Now, this is not on your notes. It's a little game you can play along at home. Kind of test yourself as I go through. Now, it's going to go in order, dragging these numbers to the proper vortex. So, the square root of 105, we know that is not a perfect square. 105, it's not perfect. That makes the number irrational. This is going rather slow right now. But it should be vanishing into the vortex. It is not. It's probably a glitch on my end, but either way, that's where we go. So we're going to skip this last slide for that reason. Well, actually, no, we're not. Square root 27. That's irrational. Square root 156. That's 14. We know that's rational. And the square root of 512. Well, that should be a cube root, not a square root. That's irrational. Square, square root of 215, that's irrational. Of 343, that's irrational. Square root of 12 is also irrational, as well as 48. Something's going on with this board. I don't know what it is. Square root of 9, we know that's 3. Square root of 196, that's 14. 81, that's 9. 169, that's 13. 49, that's 7. 225, that's 15. 16, that's 4. And 100, that's 10. And you know what? That was a mistake by me. This one is irrational, no perfect square. So if you're wondering that from earlier, I definitely goofed. But there you go.
I have no idea why the board is not working properly, but that's where those things belong. This concludes your lesson over identifying rational and irrational numbers. Have a good night.